This week on Mind Your Own Business, getting the right buttons on the right seats. Last week, we spoke about getting the right seats set out in the right places and making sure that you have got crystal clear outcomes and expectations for each of the seats on your bus. This week, I wanna to talk to you about how you get the right people into those seats. Now, building a business is a team sport. You can't do it by yourself. And if you try, you will probably fail. You need the right people around you so that they can take care of the day-to-day -day activities, but also to help you implement the plans that you have to move your business forward. And the quality of those people will be the key factor in how fast you're able to progress your business and how effectively you can navigate the inevitable challenges that will come your way as your business goes through various stages of growth. So let's discuss the various positions you might find yourself in with the seats on your bus. First of all, you'll have some seats where you've got A players occupying those seats. Those of people that have got the right attitude, but they've also got the right skills, experience, and aptitude to do their jobs well. Now, the risk with these people is that you do not pay enough attention to them and you do not develop them enough. And what happens is over time, they don't fulfill their potential or they go elsewhere and they find that challenge and that development in other businesses. Make sure that you don't neglect these people. Make sure that you diarize one-to-ones, you have proper appraisals, that you check in with them and that you push them to do their best work. Often these people are the people with the right time and attention will really help you take your business to the next level. Next, you'll have some seats on the bus where you just know deep down inside, look, this is not working out. Things don't get done properly. There's no consistency. Whenever you try and put new initiatives and plans in place, they just don't get the traction. If that is the case, you have an underperformance issue. And nobody likes dealing with underperformance, but it is the reality of being a business owner. If you've got underperformance, deal with it head on and check out episode three three of Mind Your Own Business, where I give you a couple of tools and tips that you can use to get to the bottom of underperformance the right way. I want to give you a simple four question framework that you can use to get to the bottom of underperformance issues in your business. Next, what you're going to have is some empty seats on your bus. And I would urge you to be proactive about recruitment. Many businesses leave recruitment to the last minute and therefore find themselves in a position where they have to hire in a hurry. And that often leads to a mishire because you don't take the time to go through the recruitment process and to give it the proper time and attention it needs to get crystal clear on the kind of person that you're looking for and how you're going to test effectively for that person's ability to do the job that you want them to do. Those are broadly speaking the different situations you're going to find yourself in. Seats that are working well in which case you want to make sure that you really take the time to develop those people. Some seats where it's just not working and you're going to have to address that using the stuff that I talk about in episode three and you're going to find yourself with some empty seats in which case you need to get proactive about recruitment. My suggestion is have a two-year recruitment plan, have it tied into your budget and make sure that you give yourself enough time to hire great people. So look, I know that this is a concept that is very easily discussed over a couple of videos and not that easy to implement. I completely get that. But it is a reality that if you want to work on your business more, you need to get people that can work in your business more effectively so that you can offload all of the day-to-day -day stuff to them to give you the bandwidth and the space to do what you should should be doing, which is developing that team, getting that bus moving in the right direction and ensuring that you as the driver aren't stuck at the back looking for luggage when somebody else should be doing that. I'll see you next week on Mind Your Own Business.